What's the crack lads? I'm Paul here in face and welcome back to another episode of Free Games of Paul. So today I'm playing a game called Duelist and it's a card game but it's kind of different than most card games. Like you place your cards on the field but that then becomes a unit that you have to move around so it's kind of more like strategic. Like I've played other card games like Might and Magic and stuff for a good while but this has to be one of my favourites so far. And I will just do this. I have my own deck made, and we will go. It's really fast to find in things as well. And I like how the characters are made. They're like little, um, oh Jesus, yes. But they're like little pixelated characters, like the main character of um, Hyper Light Drifter. So I think that's really cool as well. It's awesome. So, okay, I'll keep those. Won't be able to use that till the second turn, I don't think. But it doesn't matter. Shit doesn't happen. Okay, he's going first. He's a going first. What is he summoning? Is, or is he summoning? Yes, he is. Oh, it's airdrop. You dick. Shite. Okay. Um, oh, I can't summon straight away. Nice. Yeah, so for going second... Like, the person that goes first gets two points to spend. But the person that goes second gets three because they have the disadvantage straight away. They don't get to choose where to move first. So, it's quite cool. But yeah, it's really cool, the whole strategic part of it. Moving your units around this um, field and stuff. Oh. No. It's okay. He's dead as well. Ow. Ow. Oh, he's arranged. Bollocks. My turn. Okay. Young Flame Wing. Go, go there. And fuck you. Okay. In my turn. Okay, I've got one card. You can see it down here. Um, Great Fortitude. To give an a minion plus two plus two. What minions do I have? Oh, he's a good minion to use. Oh, so would he. That'd be a 6 11. Uh, probably a Thorn Needler. Probably use it on him. Wow. A lot of shit just happened there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bloodborne is up, so I can do that. Give me plus one attack. And then I will summon. How many points do I have left? Four. Okay, I'll just summon that, and then, provoked, oh shit, get rid of him, so, well, Shiza, okay, end turn, oh, uh, another fucking shield master, you dick, okay, okay, I'm going to summon this over here and give it that. So, fucking hell though. He's provoked as well. Oh, this is not looking good for me. I've only lost one so far. I've like won five games and lost one game with this deck. So, uh, I thought it was going to go well for me. But I've never actually once fought another Magmar player, so... Yeah, that's not good either. Repulsor Beast. Push a nearby enemy into another... S into any space. Oh, he got rid of my Thorn Needler. You little dick. Okay, someone in you. Get my dude out here. You've got dispel one nearby space. Mm, he hasn't really got anything on any of them. Fuck it, just use it on him. Um, end turn. Oh fuck! I should have used my blood burn skill as well. Shit. Okay. Uh it's going good. It's going good though. Kind of. What the fuck is that? I've never once seen that card before. Oh. All nearby minions deal damage to themselves equal to their attack. 
Oh, shit. He can get me no matter where I can go. So it's better for me to stay here. Lost attack a minion. Okay. How many points? I have eight. I have eight points. Bring you here. Pull you back. Get rid of him. And put one of these here. Okay. And you can attack. Okay. Now he... Oh, he can still get to me with him though. But that doesn't really matter. That's not too bad. That's not going to kill me. Whistling Blade. Oh no. He can get me though. Oh, so can he. Oh, fuck, he won. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, fighting another Magmar player with a Magmar deck is not good. Because they have the same strengths as you have. But I've beaten almost every single other, um, like, race or whatever so far. Like, there's five factions. I'll show you the factions now, actually. We hit a snag. Oh, yeah. Can't get my rewards, whatever. Fine. Um... If you go into collection, you've got your uh, kind of like factions up the top there. So there's like Leonar or Lionar, then there's Zonghai, Vitruvian, Abyssian, and Vanar, and then there's Magmar. And then each of them has their own general with its own type of skill. As you can see there, the top left is their generals. And then, and then they all get their own abilities, and then you have all your neutral cards, which are mainly monsters. Not really much spells. But yeah, I've got my own deck built with like the Vat the Immortal and then a lot of um random random things. And that that's not stuff I have though. That's all over here is what all I have over the right hand side. So I've got no eight or nine cards because I don't actually have any unlocked yet, I don't think. I think the most I've got up to is a seven. Unless there's another one in Magmar. No, no, goes up to a four. So yeah, it seems it seems all right though. So I, I like the deck I have built. So I'm not gonna dick around with it, and we'll just play again. I'll try to do one more season match. <laughs> oh, awesome Vitruvian. I'd not. I think I've thought of a Truvian player though. I've bet for Truvian AI, but Okay, I've got oh I've got that straight away. A repulsor beast. An opening ah uh, and an earthwalker. Okay, I think I'll I'll get rid of that. No. No no no, I don't want to get rid of that. Because that's a plus three attack for my general or plus four attack, plus four attack, yeah. Okay, he gets to go first, so I get an extra point. Awesome. That means I can play my Repulsor Beasts, or no, my Earthwalker first is what I'm going to play. So, I'm going to go up here and put my Earthwalker down there. And then, if I can give him plus 2-2, two, two, he gets plus 1-1 one, one a turn. So, end turn. That's awesome. Bring it on. Oh, he's running away. He gets bigger every single turn. So he's going to be a 6-6 six, six starting next turn. That's awesome. Oh, he's summoning a Pyromancer. Okay. Oh, Pyromancer is fuck all. Oh, plus 1-1. One, one. But that's not that great. In one straight line. Oh. Move you out of fucking way. Uh, dispel one nearby enemy space. Um, no, 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 no. I'm not summoning you. I'm getting rid of that dude. Oh, I can still summon you as well. Awesome. Just dispel anything. Okay. End turn. I've got a good bit now. 
and get my Earthwalker to move down at the start of my next turn, I can move up two spaces and get the other Mana Crystal. He should be fairly fucked then. And I'll have five skills, or five points, I showed in this turn, so I can summon two more monsters. My last two. For now. You come up here. Summon you there. Summon you there. Nice. He's not looking too good at the moment. Looks like he might be getting fucked up. What's he gonna do? Not what you can do, is there? He's just fucked. I'm trying to get, um... I'm trying to keep this Earthwalker away for another one or two turns till he's up to plus nine, nine. And then he'll be fucked. Once I go in, he'll have to, like, attack two or three times to kill him. And two or three attacks to him is going to absolutely annihilate him. So if I can get in here with all these... Oh, I can't. Hmm. I can only get to there and down to here. Put this on. I might replace the second one. I'd rather a minion, yes, a fire spitter. Awesome. That's a ranged minion for me. I'm keeping him away for now. He should be a 9-9 nine -nine next turn. Or will be a 9-9 nine -nine at the next turn. And he's going to be fucked then. Okay, that's two turns back to him though. And it attacks every single minion in a circle around him. So, oh, ow. That hurted. Okay. Oh, how many points do I have? I only have seven. Right, I'd only, I only want you to spawn back here. You come in a bit. You come in a bit. You come down a good bit. It's gonna kill him, but... Is that arranged? No, it's not. Awesome. Okay, you're gonna be fucked. My big dude's coming in soon. He'll be 10 10 this turn. Ah, uh, his his line is just absolutely bollocksed. That one card, that Earth, um, what is it actually? Earth Walker, that's what it is. That Earth Walker could take out almost every single one of his minions by himself. Oh! I would have taken out the Earth Walker, or tried to. But. Okay. If you can come in here, spawn him here. You can come over here. You can attack him. He's the most damaged one, so I want him out of the way. And he is wrecked. He's fucked. Awesome. Okay, so end my turn. Next turn should be the rest of his minions dead. Most definitely, the rest of his minions dead. And I have another minion spawn. Unless he spawns another minion. Why? He's... Oh, he has two of them. That makes sense, that's why. Oh, that's not good, so. Okay, that's him dead. Nice attack. That's him dead. Nice, okay. Do I have nine points? I do. Die. One more turn for that. Hmm. Okay. Oh, and another Necros here. Awesome. This is a neck and neck game, though. Like, next turn, I'll have him down a good bit more, but still. Bloodletter. Oh. Don't worry. I'll get away from your bloodletter. Okay, his minion's gone. Oh, yes. Oh, I get to summon two more this time. 
the blood letter is not getting anywhere near me. I'm going up to here. I'm summoning you here. I'm killing you. I'm summoning you here. In turn. Your blood letter is not getting up near me. Fuck you. Blood letters do um, double damage to a general. I actually had an amazing game one stage where I had like two of those plus two two cards and the blood letter went up to like like eight damage like nine damage or something like that and um fucking all my minions just got him down to like nine and I just night or not eight nine he got him down to like eighteen like I only took like seven health off him and that one blood letter just annihilated him because it's double damage so the nine damage went up to eighteen so it was fucking awesome so it was my Bloodborne spell is on. Awesome! If I can go up one. Up one, up one, up one. Oh, I can't. Because he's there. Okay. Seven attack. Four. Five, six, seven. Oh, I can't attack this round. If I attack this round, he's gonna kill me. Okay. Don't. Oh. Oh, I'm dead anyways. No. No, 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 no. Oh, yes I am. Oh. I didn't take into account that he could do that. You dick. <laughs> ah, shite. Uh, why? Why up until now was I winning every single game? Is there even like a section where like your profile... I suppose it'd probably be in here. Match history. So like it was like win 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 loss win, and they were all before I recorded this. And now I'm recording this is just like nope nope nope, fuck you. Ah, <laughs> uh, why? Why? That it, it just it doesn't like me anymore. And I was getting up in ranks as well. It does go up. It goes up to diamond and then S rank. Whoa. And I'm up to rank 8 with my Magmar aspect. Okay. Awesome. But it's a really, really cool game. Like, I I, I, I really like it. Anyways, like, it's one of my favorite card games now because card games normally... I played them for a while, but they kind of get, like... It's just kind of like you play your cards, you learn the methods, and you win. But that's, like, absolutely... You can't predict it. Like, you could play all the best cards, but he can still figure out, just like he did there, a way to move his card out and put another card in there, or units in and out, and to still get to me and do the maximum damage. Like, it's not just about the cards that you have on your front line, like most card games there. So, it's quite cool, but if you like it, you can go check it out. It's free on Steam anyways, so... Yeah, thank you all for watching this episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.